you know what caught my attention about your blog uh, was the name the name of your blog is trust me you're alive yeah i'm so glad you asked me this cuz at the time i put so much thought into it and nobody's ever asked me this is brilliant stuff man uh, and these two are polar opposites i i filled up i think three full diaries with the story and i forgot who died <laughs> i i was i i would go back to my first book and i was like oh shit no this person had died in the first chapter i forgot and i forget what the mom's name is because i have oh no God. idea what's happening let's begin from the time where you have a certain thought let's say you are at a supermarket so how does the writing process go from there to when rohit is reading the blog you've written everything that's extremely personal how how brave do you have to be to do this so even when i wrote about my lows i remember there was this one senior he wrote he had written about his depression and that was so i just came across his blog right and that was so similar to the way i wrote about my lows and i was like these are two different people and he was my senior in college but we we didn't really know each other and it was so it was eerily similar like the anal, even the comparisons we made were like oh, oh no like yeah what advice or tips would you give to people who want to start writing who have a lot of thoughts in their head but can't seem to just start or can't seem to uh, keep themselves consistent yeah and i i was a movie and i was like yeah this is exactly how i used to be it's like you know i also used to go to these plays like drama and i knew i was bad at it but i had this english teacher would be like oh no you are so good at everything i'm like no i am not i'm bad at and i i know it i know i'm bad at it but you know that you they be like this one teacher who believes in you yeah. and then you would think that oh Oh, I am special. <laughs> Everyone thinks. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, this is exactly how I used to be. Uh, when you wanted to write something which has had a lot of feels, you were like, oh, I need to get sad. I need to like feel sad, and then your friend oh. used to like get worried. Tell me about that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used to think I'm a sad person, and I I would have these dramatic. Like if someone took a video of it, people would be commenting over it. Oh my gosh, such a drama queen. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had so much fun. I had so much. Like I said, so when you mentioned this, I was like, "Oh, what do we talk about? Are we going? It's not that important. <laughs> I'm going to feel like an imposter." No, no. But this was so much fun.